When not access control configuration, access control is to help administrators to control over their internet traffic to restrict certain service and application. Commonly it is used by the client to block all entertainment traffic during office hour. The access control policy can be simply set up with the criteria include service, application, URL, file type, and collection. This is a simple case study to let user more familiar with the access control policy. Basically, there are two different user groups under user local subnet 192.168.1.0/24, which are general staff and manager. The company manager hoped their staff able to concentrate in their work, so he decided to set up the policy to restrict general staff online access to the entertainment website. Mostly staff should not able to access those websites during the office hour. The office hour can spread to the two sections, which is the 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. and the 2 p.m. until 6 p.m. Staff should only access the website during non-office hour. However, the manager should able to access all websites without any issue at all there, even though the manager under the same subnet but not being affected by the policy rules also. According to previous case study, we have to figure out what are the steps to fulfill the user requirement. First of all, set up the time schedule to define the actual duration based on the client office hour. Next, specific the range of the internal subnet and create the following user group. Once the user group being added, then we can create a new access control policy to restrict the online access to the particular user group. Because the manager is also under the area of the local subnet, we can add a new rule in the excluded IP address for manager PC. Then the window can bypass the following traffic and direct forward to the destination. Now we can access to the window and configure for it. According to the instruction, we have to define a schedule map to the company office hour. So we have to locate the object tab under the system category and look for the column 3 schedule tab. In here, there will be four new default schedule has been defined, include the office hour as well. So we look at content inside and make some change for it. So I did follow case study and change the first section of the office hour to 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. After that, save the change for it and modify in the non office hour as well. In the next step, we have to create a user group to cover up all general staff PC. The name just simply rename it as a local user. Fill it up with the IP address with the local network, which is 192.168.1.0 slash 94. And save for it. Now we can move to the main process by creating a new access control policy to restrict the general staff traffic and giving it a name as a restrict general staff After naming for the policy, we just left the expiry date as a default and enable for the rules Take the options specific user group and move the local user to the selector portion. Just like I mentioned before, there's quite a lot of options for filtering. In here, we will select web filter and following URL filter. It will acquire a lot of predefined website category built in the webinar. Firstly, I will select a wide list of the website category according to the company requirement. Afterward, we can select all these action taken as a row at the top of the list. Left the valid type as a default by allow all selected traffic all there. Next, block for the remaining traffic by inverse all selection below. Deny all this traffic and block it only during the office hour.
However, I have to remind user that the last row of the list will be the unspecific website, not include in the library. In here, I will keep all the traffic as a denied at the office hour also. Before the end of the configuration, user do remember that the manager is under the same subnet also. We hope the manager will not be broken by the access control policy. In here, we have to exclude the manager IP address over here. User only have to simply type in the manager IP address with the 192.168.1.68. And save and apply. At last, I will text the access control being set up before by access specific category website. I will try to access a CNN, which is the website categorized in the news, the valid traffic. So the result show the policy control is working as very well. After that, access the ping website for the search engine category. Now we can text for the broker website by access gaming channel www.igm.com so the vendor did a restriction for it. Lastly, we access the www.amazon.com so the vendor did the block as well. That's all for my tutorial. Thank you.